Hi again, uh, Josh Carr here. Today I'd like to talk about net effective rent. This is something I get questions about, and it's something that uh, a lot of people don't seem to know how to calculate. It's not that hard, actually. Just it confuses people. Uh, let's say we have two leases we're trying to compare, which I have named here option one and option two. Option one, we put in a certain amount of money at the beginning at time zero, uh, some improvements, pay some commissions, and we receive five years of rent, in this case, 100,000 growing at 3% per year, versus option two, we spend a little bit more money in tenant improvements. We started a little lower of rent, but the rent grows faster, 4%, and runs for seven years. The question then, of course, is which do you take? Do you take the lease, which is five years long, and you're putting out 50 grand, and it grows at 3%, or do you put out, do the lease that starts a little lower, that you put out 75 grand and it grows at 4%. You could look at the net cash flows, 460 versus 675, but that's not gonna help you too much because you know option two is gonna be more because it's for seven years. You could look at averages, but that's not taking into account time value of money. 106 versus 110 isn't really telling you when the money's gonna get there. The solution is basically as follows. First, you do a net present value calculation. You say, okay, I want to make 10% of my money. Here's the future money. Here's the present money. In other words, it's worth 334. Let's compare that against the 432. This is telling you that there's a little bit more value here than here. But of course, that's not taking into account the fact that, you know, this is a seven year lease. This is a five year lease. Of course, this one's going to be higher than this one. The key is, not to figure out the NPV, but to figure out, in effect, what are you getting per year? In other words, we do this. We do a net effect of rent calculation. We look at the discount rate. We run it for five years. We take the NPV, and this is basically saying that NPV is equivalent to what annual payment? Well, if you know that you want to make 10% and you know it's five years and you know the NPV, that is equivalent to, in essence, in effect, hence net effective rent, 88 per year versus 88. This one down here is marginally better. You also notice that these values, the one that's better or worse, is going to vary based on what rate of return you'd like to make, right? So a 10% rate of return, this one's better. Option two, at, at say 8% rate of return, this one's better. This gets to, of course, the age old question of what discount rate do you use? Uh, if two leases have equivalent credit, then I guess you'd use the same discount rate. If it was more or less likely that one would default on you, then you could start talking about credit qualities of one versus the other. Um, and that's the idea. That is net effective rent. Um, Hopefully this is clear. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And uh, hopefully this explains to you how net effective rent works. If this is the sort of stuff that fills you with joy, please subscribe. Uh, if you have other ideas for videos that you'd like to reach me about, feel free to email me at josh at carrealestate.com or check out my website. I have a free stuff section uh, that's worth checking out and has other fun materials. Thanks again.